more time you spend in any region, the greater you understand its diversity. But the hills is is on another planet. The, the fact that we've got different altitudes, different soil types, different aspects, from north to south, from east to west, temperature and rainfall gradients just means that this is such a rich tapestry to work with in terms of varietal location. You can plant pretty much anything here, whether or not we've always got the right things in the right place. Well, it's early days, maybe in 50 years perhaps we will. But the fact that we can go to different parts of the hills and produce such different styles from so many different varieties just makes it really exciting. Enhancing the biodiversity that you've got um, around the vineyard does have a measurable value. If you can create an environment around your blocks that bolsters its resilience to handle the sorts of things that feed on your grapes because there's nothing else there for them to feed on, that is only going to be in your favour at the end of the day. Now whether it's bush that the kangaroos can rest and feed in rather than feeding on your vines, or it's light brown apple moth caterpillars or grubs, whatever you want to call them, that would normally be infesting your flowers and your grape bunches, if we've got more predatory insects on the periphery of our blocks that are able to move into our blocks from the bush that we're creating, then you're going to win. I think as we see climate change, I think that we are adjusting. We will need to adjust. Uh, the way in which we maintain canopies, for instance, the way in which we use water, uh, the varieties we choose, uh, the aspects we choose to grow those varieties, all these things uh, are going to be more and more important. And those who don't make that adjustment will have difficulty. To us, soil is everything. One of the inputs that we've actually eliminated has been herbicide. So we mow under vine these days, and people think, my God, how much water must you use having everything green and growing underneath your vines? Well, it doesn't make any difference. We still use the same amount of water. We also get the benefit of other things of flowering and shelter for beneficial insects underneath the canopy, right in the vineyard as well apart from all the other things we're planting around the outside of the vineyard. But under vine, you can bring nature straight in underneath the canopy without any detrimental impact at all. And this is one of the wettest parts of the hills. It's got the highest disease pressure, bar none. And we have no more problems than anybody else. And everybody just looks at it and thinks, gee, you must use a lot of water. We don't. We're looking to move towards organic certification. Uh, we've started with removing herbicide. Uh, we've invested heavily in machinery to allow us to do mechanical weeding and mowing under vine. Uh, so we've eliminated herbicide from our programs. Our fungicide programs are now um, running on organic products only. Uh, so we've removed all non-organic products from our fungicide programs. Similarly, our fertiliser regime uh, has moved that way as well. It hasn't been as hard as we thought. Uh, but it is really monitoring the weather, making sure your timings are right, your application rates are right, your machinery is working properly, all the basics. So getting that right is important. It's all about sunlight in the canopy for us. In Lenswood, where you've got a high cloud cover, um, it's even more important. We are particular about how many shoots per metre we're carrying. Generally somewhere between 16 to 24 shoots per metre is usually what we're looking for. We will shoot then to that number uh, each season. So spring comes and we've got out about six leaf out. We'll go in and start shoot thinning there and that will set the canopy up for the rest of the season. We do not need to do any more than that. After that it's just wire lifting, keeping the canopy up so the tractors can get through, sunlight interception and um, happy vines. Sustainability is a key driver in a lot of the business decisions we make. In the vineyard, we'll touch most vines five, six, seven times a year, and that's a way that we can actually control and manage, um, for example, opening up the canopy so that it's less likely to have disease, therefore re reducing the requirements for uh, inorganic or disease-preventing chemicals. 
we bunch thin, we shoot thin, all in the attempt to try and increase quality of course, but also to mitigate risks of heat damage and also disease pressures as well. So it's a way that we can control the amount of chemicals going into the vineyard. Generally, people have a rule of thumb or one eight hour shift once a week, that's all you need to do. Once we put soil moisture monitors into our blocks, we realised half the water of an eight hour shift was actually draining beyond the root zone. It was never actually picked up by the vines. So we've actually gone to four hours. Half the power use, half your water usage, no difference in the vines at the end of the day. So if there was ever an argument to monitor the soil moisture, um, that's it. The management of the water is very important for the vines. We use Centec probes to, uh, to keep a real close eye on what we're using and we use it to uh, measure the total water volume in at each depth at every 10 centimetres all the way down to 1.2 metres so we can adjust how much water we're putting on to the requirements of the weather, heat waves, uh, fruit load, quality, all those sorts of things and not just saying oh they look thirsty but actually having the data to back you up for a sound decision.